Hey everyone, uh, I've heard Shadowhunters are pretty popular in NA since the beta, so uh, I wanted to quickly show how the endgame styles play to make sure there are no surprises while uh, you're progressing through the game. Um, as I explained in the past video, uh, I wanted to make sure and help as much as I can so my friends who are planning to play this game uh, make good decisions on their classes. I have, I have uh, had many friends quit uh, due to not liking their play styles of their character. Uh, you guys should definitely play the class based on your playstyle enjoyment, uh, not the performance of the class. Uh, since I raised 19 classes up to endgame legion rates, I want to share some of my knowledge to my friends and my future new players. So let's get on the video with the second class of the series, Shadowhunter. So statistically, uh, Demonic Impulse is more popular due to its time efficiency to grow its character to a certain performance. Uh, meaning it is cheaper than most classes to be strong enough to enjoy later tier content. This doesn't mean perfect suppression build is bad. Uh, it has higher ceiling, uh, but it definitely costs more. Let's go over the more popular build, Demonic Impulse, first. As I've explained before, uh, Lost Ark skills are grouped into three categories. Synergy skill, main DPS skill, and utility skill like counter, movement, uh, destruction, and stagger. Shadowhunter is a little different than other classes. Uh, your skill set completely changes when you transform. Therefore, it has 14 skills total. Uh, let's go over the human form first. So Shadowhunters can carry up to two movement skills, Demonic Slash and Spinning Dive. Demonic Slash it is a very good two combo movement skill that provides movement speed and buff at the end. Spinning Dive, on the other hand, is not used very much, but is also a very good movement skill that can jump very long distance with a high level tripod. So human form also has a counter skill called Rising Claw. This one. This rising claw it provides decent stagger and you're you're not you're, you can't be stunned for it and then it has a large range and is very quick and both of the hits are a counter so it is very easier to uh, land counters compared to other classes so uh human form has one synergy skill only in human form actually this class only has one synergy skill which is the howl uh and it provides 12 percent extra damage to enemies uh, this is a problem. This is like a, a negative problem to this particular class because when you transform, you don't provide synergy. Uh, so that that that's like an existing issue compared to uh, co a comparable uh, class called Scouter. But this particular synergy for six seconds, you provide uh, more damage to the enemy for twelve uh, as twelve percent. So it's a very good skill and is mainly used as the identity gates filler, which I'm going to go over next. The rest four skills. Demon Vision, Demonic Grip, and Decimate. So all of these are used to gain your Identity Gauge. The one that gains the most is your Demonic Vision, Demon Vision, sorry, and your Howl, and then Decimate, and then uh, Genocide and, self, and so on and so forth. The Demonic Impulse's Human Form skills are usually set in stone due to the Human Force Soul Purposes Transform. So you have these two movement skills, or you can have the Thrust Impact for additional uh, identity gauge filling, which is here on the tripod. So it is really up to you. Um, so from this point, you have these four skills or the rest of the purple skills to fill up your identity gauge. So you use your so you use your gate use your skills to transform as fast as you can. So for example, use your demon vision, use your howl, and then if you use one of your two skills, you can transfer immediately. And then you and then you would use your transformation skills, which I'm going to go over after this. And then you transfer back. You fill up it again, as fast as you can, and then you transform again. This this is your go-to uh, combo, but you won't be able to transform as fast as I explained in the beginning, where tier one and two, you, it would be impossible for you to uh, transform as this fast. Um, we'll be able with the uh, later point of the game. So now let's go over the transformation skills. Let me transform real quick. <clears throat> so when you transform, uh, all transformation skills have stagger attribute built to it, uh, built into it. So Shadow Hunter is like a, an absolute beast in stagger uh, when transformed. Each skill has at least a bit of stagger, and has two destruction points. Uh, so running, so it's ruining rush, the Q skill, and the leaping blow, they're both movement skills that provides a uh, good mobility and it does a decent amount of damage. So Death Claw. This is like a three, almost a three-second cooldown if you have a uh, particular gem. 
uh, even even short actually. So you're consistently countering. This is one of the most OP counter uh, character, uh, the class in the game. Gore bleeding, and your leaping blow again uh, deals destruction. And your blood massacre is your main DPS, the S skill. And destruction over here is often used uh, between for like you know fill, filling up the other rest of the damages. And this is about it actually. And then your you have your awakening, which you can only use during transformation. Uh, Playstyle of a uh, shadow hunter, uh, demonic impulse build is very simple. Uh, you build identity gauge as fast as you can during human form, as I explained before. You don't have to worry about DPS at this point. So you're using your movement skills, right? This is also counted as movement skill. You fill up your gauge, making sure your demon vision lands, because uh, if your demon vision doesn't land, you won't have enough gauge points to uh, transform. So you would have to wait another cycle. So when you when your demon vision lands, you use your other skills to transform. And when you transform, you utilize all your skills. So your A skill, the uh, Leap Blow and Blood Massacre, those skills are the longest. So usually you will spend these two to close the gaps. And then you use your other skills. And then you fill in with the counter skill as you can. And while your other skills return in cooldown, you keep on you keep on spanning all these skills. And then you press space bar to go away and then you, you close the gap again. And then you use your main uh, blood massacre as much as you can during your transformation time. So when you transform back, use your demon vision again. And then you use your other skills, fear decimate everything. And then you transform, close gap, and then blood massacre, and then changing positions, counter, counter if you want to. And then you fill in the gaps with the other skills. So you can counter again. And then you use your other skills, <clears throat> QWER. And then when your uh, Blood Massacre cools down, make sure you use it every time. And then you just keep on attacking over and over. Also, to keep in mind, your Q skill, the Rune Rush, and Leap Blow, you can switch positions, right? So when you're transformed, when you when you think the, uh, the Guardian is atta attacking you, uh, sorry, let me transform again. See, it's very easy to transform. Uh, so you use your Q skill to move positions like this, or you use your A skill, leap low to change positions again, and then while landing your attack, right? So you would need to consistently be on the Guardian's position uh, to be landing your attacks. Like, you, you shouldn't be resting at all. Because uh, you're... You, this is like more of a call to cycle dealer. You're cycling all your skills as fast as you can. And th this is it, actually, surprisingly. And some of my friends uh, quit this class due to simplicity. Uh, but some friends love this class due to simplicity. So I hope you guys understand why my comment in the beginning of the video is really, uh, really crucial to keep in mind. So let's quickly go over the second build, Perfect Suppression. Uh, unlike Impulse, you disable transformation. Uh, but you use the Identity Gauge as a spending meter to deal more damage. Uh, and as a passive, you just deal more damage uh, to your uh, normal skills. And what is a normal skill? Uh, is a non-purple skill. So all these above here. So there are many skills, uh, skill builds based on your uh, runes and item sets and engravings. So to provide the simplest knowledge of the playstyle, uh, I will go over only like one of them. Um, for example, the movement skill, you, you would still use this because as you notice, this is a very good skill. Uh, you, you dash twice, and then you're in, you, you can move faster with the tripod buff. Um, and then you have another one called Sharpen Cut. It, it closes gaps a short distance. It can be used this as well. And then you have the mandatory synergy skill and identity uh, gauge gainer skills, which is Howl, Decimate, and Genocide. You can use other ones, uh, but Howling, Howl is the most important one because as I told you guys in the beginning, uh, it provides synergy to your party and yourself, which is a 12% more damage to the enemy. And the, your counter is the same, Rising Claw. And your main DPS gauge spending skills are Spinning Weapon, Demolition, and Cruel Cutter. And your sub non uh, gauge spending skills, which is your Thrust Impact. Why sub non uh, spending? Because if you notice here, if you have this particular tripod, your gauge uh, gain increases, but if you use the other one, you can't gain any gauges, but it will deal more damage. So the playstyle vastly changes depending on what runes you have and what level tripods you have. So I have a level 5 tripod on Howling, 
uh, that gives that provides 150 percent more um, identity gauge gain. And then if you use use this particular rune, it adds additional 40 percent, and the purple rune does 30 uh, percent. So let's add uh, the richness rune here that provides 40 percent more. Let's see if I howl and then uh, I'm able to uh, do my identity gauge uh, filling skill. So I howl, fills a little more, and I have exactly enough to spend one skill for this one howling. So this particular combo does exist as in uh, this uh, suppression uh, style. You close your gap, you howl, and then you use your, um, use your uh, identity gauge filling skill to do deal more damage. And then you walk around, and then you use two of your skills, which also has the richness rune, and then you use your other uh, identity gauge filling skill. This is how you should manage. And it will be a lot harder for you to uh, do cleaner DPS if you don't have these runes, which it doesn't exist in the NA release. Which is unfortunate, but um, this this is why uh, the playstyle vastly changes. Because you would be playing very, very differently uh, if you don't have these runes, right? You would need to uh, enable like more more purple skills so that you can, ha it can enable uh, identity gauge filling skills, right? So to go over again, close your gap. Your filling skill, and then you use your main DPS skill, fill up your gauge, and then use your main DPS skill, and then you move around, you wait until your cooldown comes back, close gap again, main filling skill, and then you fill it up again, and then your main DPS skill. And this is about it. Uh, this particular build has higher ceiling, uh, which can pull off more DPS. Uh, then the demonic impulse build uh it is a little bit more complicated to manage as you see because you need the gauges to deal more damage with the skill right so yeah that's about it so uh this covers both existing meta builds for shadow hunter it is a great class uh but please don't be fooled as i uh, explained in the beginning or at the uh, throughout the video you won't be able to pull off these play styles until after a year or two because you need those later items, you need those later tier item, uh, items and runes and engravements. So please take this video into reference what you'll be expecting to have when you're planning to play this game seriously. As always, um, please let me know uh, if you want to know about any other classes. I'm happy to show all of them in the same manner like this video. Um, and I hope you guys are excited for the NA release soon. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.